Wait a second. Something isn't right. I think I need to make up. Now that's better. So, if you guys want to know how to do this, which is the makeup of the guitar player in Rob Zombie, stay tuned. And wow, that was like a really crappy intro, but you know what, I tried my best. Okay guys, so as you guys already saw by the title and by the beginning of this video, I'm not going to get in too much in depth. I'm pretty much going to be playing, or I mean, bro, I'm pretty much going to be doing the makeup for the Rob Zombie guitarist. Um, but I don't know what it's gonna turn out, guy. Turn out like I or, or you guys already know, and you guys already know the design. But I'm gonna show you again. It's this. It's kind of like heartbeat symbols, and then I think it's like a smoky eye. Um, but pretty much the reason I'm doing this is because I'm gonna go play two Rob Zombie songs on my other guitar channel, or on my other YouTube channel that's just on guitars. So if you guys would please go subscribe to that right now, I, I only have 12. I want to at least hit as many subscribers as I have on here on there. So pretty much the only tools I have are things that, like my scraps from Halloween, I guess. So... One second, let me get that all out. Okay, so I have everything out, and this is what I have to work with. I have some Spirit Halloween black grease paint. I have some Party City white cream paint. There's some Party City black cream plate, plate paint, and some Party City red cream paint. I also have this. It's just white body paint. I can't remember where I got this from. I got these triangle sponges, which I actually picked up from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> it all shot out. Yeah, and then I have, like, those, like, all these to paint with. And then I only have, like, this big makeup brush that my sister let me have. And this one. Which is, I don't know what kind of makeup brush this is. But this would definitely be good for, like, the heartbeats. Oh, yeah, and then for the smoky eye, I've never done one. I, like, don't do makeup or anything, so it's, I'm gonna try my best, but my sister gave me this whole, um, eyeshadow palette. That's the brand. I've used it a little bit. I think, um, my last makeup, um, that I did on this channel, I, I showed this palette. But pretty much, I'm going to be trying to, once again, create this. So, without further ado, I'm not going to like get too far into detail because you guys have already seen it. I'm just going to pull back my hair so I can put fake or white all over my face. I guess not really. Oh! How did that happen? One second. Yes, I know this looks funny, but I can't like make a ponytail or anything. So this is what it looks like. I kind of look like a who, or it looks like I have like, a palm tree on my head or something. But I think the first thing I'm going to do is apply makeup and then I'm going to leave just like a big open space right here. And then right here because he has like a black thing and then leave my eyes open for the smoky eye. So I'll probably speed some of this up and slow or and then just like slow back down so I can talk to you guys. But for the most part it's going to be speeded up. So... And then we just apply out all the paints, and then I'll be all ready to go. Okay, so I got the face paints on here. I'm just using, um, just kind of like this, this is box I found. Uh, so what I think I'm going to try to use first to apply the paint is this. Or actually, maybe I'll use this. Um, but if you guys don't know to make it as pigmented as possible, you can either dab it or do crisscross motion. I'm probably just going to dab it. To me, it's easier than going crisscross because I want to go side to side or up and down. So I probably should have put the black and the white further apart. They're like right next to each other so I can't smear them all. Okay, guys. Um, I guess go ahead.
I'm now going to go remove this so that I can make this a little bit more white. Because right now, as you can see, it's still kind of see-through. So, while I uh, erase right here, I'll be able to make it more white. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Okay, it's all good. So now it's time for the second layer. As you can see, I left like pieces open so I can do right here. And then he has like this, like sort of like a tear, sort of. I don't really know what it is. Just like a line going down to the heartbeat. I might do that, I might not. So let's go ahead and do the second layer. I think that's good because I don't need to get too far in because, I mean, you know, like I'm going to be doing other stuff along with it. So I'll need to make sure I get everything else before I get really, really far into the white because I want to do this before anyone gets home because whenever everyone gets home, it gets really loud and then I can't really film a guitar cover unless I film it in my room and... My TV's louder downstairs, and my and it's bigger downstairs, so peel I talk too much, so I'm just going to get back to doing the makeup. I'm now going to be using the grease paint for my lips. Because he pretty much has, like, black lipstick on. But I don't own any lipstick. So, I'll just use grease paint. Okay, so I got the lips done. It doesn't look great, but once again, I don't do makeup, so I'm going to be really bad at, like, lipstick and stuff. So, next, I'm going to get this super, super thin and do the lines. It goes, it looks like it goes out a little bit, then it goes up, down. So, pretty much, there's going to be, like, three jumps. So, like, three spikes. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, I'll just get back to you guys whenever I do that, because I have to get really close to the mirror whenever I'm doing this kind of stuff. Okay, so I got w one mouthpiece done. Uh, I also forgot to do my ears, so I did those super fast. Uh, so I got one mouthpiece done. It doesn't really look that good, but I guess from here, kind of looks the same. And kind of, yeah. Um, so let me do the other one, and then we'll go from there. So, you guys already knew this from the beginning of the video, but this looks really, really bad. This slide looks pretty good. I don't know what happened on this side. Like, He also has a different face shape than me, so... Like, my face is a lot more round than his. So his are more straight up and down. And then he also has a beard, so that covers a lot more. So, I don't have any of that, so I'm not going to be recreating the beard or anything. But, that's why he only does three, and that's why they're so, like, high and very, very thin. But, I'm going to just try to fix this up a little bit. I don't know how, but I'm going to try. Okay, so it looks a little bit better. Not much, but... They look a little bit more symmetrical, I guess. But, I don't even know what I'm going to use for the smoky eye. I don't even know how to do a smoky eye. I'm going to try to use these. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm using my phone to record. Uh, so I can't look up how to do one. Um, It just looks like you just have to fill it in and kind of... So let it fade out a little bit more. So make it darker closer to the eye and make it lighter further away. I guess it's just kind of like shading in a drawing. I'll try. That was my knee, by the way. I'm gonna try to speed this up, too. So 
Wish me luck. Okay. Um, I think I'm done. I added the line. As you can see, I have the three things right there. I had to go over it with white. So it's kind of messed up. So actually, I think what I'm going to do. So I'm going to touch it up. But I'm going to touch it off off camera because it's already at 20 minutes. But probably going to be a little bit shorter because I speed everything up. But that's it for now, guys. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment what you guys want me to do next. And go check out my next, or er, go check out my other channel, my guitar channel. Hit the subscribe button on there and watch the Rob Zombie videos. Peace. Stay random. What? No. What?